Guys, Nick Bear here, also known as Sonic Fan 5002, and welcome back to another episode of Wonder to View Night with Nick Bear. And today's very special uh, interview guest is actually a member of of a team. Oh, of course, Team Scientix, obviously. It's a uh, Mr. Uh, Rapid, or also known as Py Pyro Rapid Fox. <laughs> What the hell was that? I don't even know what that was. <laughs> that, that, that was a burp that slowly turned into a screech. What the frick? Pyromania jumpscare sound weak. <laughs> okay. But anyways, on to the questions. Question number one. <sighs> How did you how did you discover the name Pyro Rapid? Oh, all right, that's gonna be sort of a pretty easy one. Um, the name Rapid was disco I discovered the name Rapid when I um was on the internet looking up for a good YouTube name. <laughs> so I was called at the time I was called MLG Plus which is the typical 12-year-old thing. So I, I um, looked up the name and people... Oh, I, I remember I that. found suggestions. I barely remember yeah. that. Yeah, it was, and I found the one called... One of them, one of the suggestions was Rapid. So I named myself Rapid Gamer. Then I went to Rapid Gaming after my account was, well, oh. taken over. And well. then slowly I started to think... Slowly, I started to uh, like. I used to go out like uh, around near like, when I have to get head off. I go to somewhere warm and I really like it. So I decided to name something. Wanted to call my character, uh, my avatar, um, something very with fire. So I went. I wanted to call him Flame, which I didn't, which I actually later used with another character. But I not literally. I, I ended up with the name Pyro, so I just named my character Pyro Rapid, and I had Fox at the end because it was a because it was his animal. Well, that's very interesting to be. In fact, I mean, you've gone through some <laughs> changes, my man. Yeah, I went through several name changes. All right, so uh, question two: How did you meet? the rest of your friends on Team Scientix? Oh, um... I was added to the team because one of my friend, because uh, one of my friends, Raz, um, um, suggested me as a member and I was put into the team as a temporary member. And I was really there just to be in calls and help out. I wasn't there for beta testing. I wasn't there for much. The first time I got into a call, I actually, I immediately, I immediately started to become friends with all the team members. I then I started to talk with Ian a lot, and then now me and Ian good with each other. Then um, um, some random stuff which I won't get into detail happened, and the fact could have sort of died, and then it was brought back as Team Sansix, and two car two people were removed, and and. I was added. Wow. Okay. I was. I was. I was technically both the, the two people who got removed. I was their replacement. So I went from six to four, and then went back to five in the inclusion of me. Oh. Oh. Wow. Okay. You know that story is like it's like a crazy, crazy ass journey, if you ask me. Yeah, it's alright. Well then, it was alright. All right then. Question three. Hmm, let's see. You know, I, I am kind of nervous when I'm asking you these questions. Like, like you're actually one of those famous people. A little famous. One well, of my famous for drawing all the anime, all the freaking FNAF characters with boobs. Yes, that's famous. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so question three. Well, you know this. 
you know, this is gonna be hard because like, there's so many questions about you. That's alright, though. I can answer them. Alright, question three. Let me, like, to ask some stuff. Right. How did you came up with the game, uh, Pyromania? Oh, Pyromania is an old game. Pyromania had been existed around 2014, 2015, actually. It was originally a game I came up with as a kid. I drew little characters, and they would represent me and my me and some of my friends, and also one of my siblings. Um, I kept trying to make it a game, but I kept failing. I slowly got better drawing via that. Um, the character it consisted of five characters. One was like a human robot, which resembled me. One was some weird tiger and hu tiger and lion hybrid with a bit of human in it. That was meant to represent my sibling. There was another human that was representing my friend. And then there was a wolf that represent my avatar at the time, because my, av my avatar way in the past used to be a wolf. This wolf was one of my favourite uh, favorite animal at the time. Then um, I abandoned that idea for years. I tried to come back to it during, after the cancellation of um, the cancellation of um, Finesse TP, but I um, never did because I didn't know if people would like it or not. And then I, after the cancellation of Finesse 6, and at the time DLC, I decided to bring it back, but I wanted to change everything. So I changed the main character from a human to a fox, removed Wolf and the other characters, and I decided to make an entirely new cast. So I consisted of a character of six characters, but later I changed it to eight, and then later on, she changed it to 14, because there's, you know, there's me, random, crazy, why, you, Iria, <laughs> Babaru, Sahara. Uh, but Bro it is Bro true, Bro you know, it is yeah. true that I am a part of the cast, but that's interesting for yeah. you. <laughs> Yeah, we can't forget Pro, uh, Gubes, uh, Springy, um, Scammy, Shadow, Ty, <laughs> Phantom uh, Ian, <laughs> uh, and, uh, the, the random, random cast, the random secret character that I haven't added yet, <laughs> but, um, yeah. Yeah, and I, and Ian, Ian came up with the name Pyro, Pyromania within the Dire Fire. I wanted originally I just called it Fights of Pyros, but Ian yeah. came up with the name Pyromania within the Dire Fire. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I'm pretty sure Pyromania is the be uh, a better name. Yeah, it's a better choice. It actually kind of fits as well because Pyromania is a desire to set things on fire. Uh, yes. All right, next question because that's all I can say. Uh, oh, okay. That's technically the entire story. Uh, okay, I think but, I still have a drawing of that so Really? I got a lot of questions behind my back. This might be a long episode. I have mine, uh, mine uh, four hours. <laughs> or w whatever hours this is gonna take, but I don't care. Alright, question four, is it? Is it question four? Oh, yeah, I think it's question four. <clears throat> No boy. All right, so how did you come up with newer ideas for the DLC of Five Nights at Sonic's Four? Ooh, that's actually a good question because I'm still developing it right now. I'm actually in the extras menu of it right now. Um, mainly the ideas came from friends or me just thinking of stupid things like how toys to toy. Golden would, would, you know, just have some fun, and he would be, like, behind you and crap. Um, Toy Silver, I wanted to make him look as weird as possible, uh, and that's why I made this jump scare him falling from the ceiling and landing on his head and just giving up and just jumped on you. Holy shit. He looks like, and he even says in the extras menu, he needs a brain check. <laughs> And 
God says he is head too hard. Um, oh my God. Uh, some ideas such as Toy Silver and the new character Luginet came from a friend of mine, which I later adapted into my version, which is an SVG version. Like I think the original one had like stubs or legs, but I just later changed them into giant spikes. Uh, wow. That... And, that, and of course, you can't. It was an idea from Fnasto, and the new things are really not that. There's just new things like um, behind-the-scenes stuff in the extras, the, the new mechanical clothes, opening them to get rid of certain characters, and you can look around the desk, and yeah. Oh, wow. it's ma Mainly the ideas come from either friends, my own will, or half of them came from Ian. Because <laughs> 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 he is like the smart one. He came up, how many mechanics did he come up with? He came up with the new idea to, for Yoshi. She came, he came up with the new idea for Mario. He came up with a new idea for. He came up with Luigi Nets mechanic. He came up with a new idea for Luna Nightmare. He came up with Toy Gods mechanic. He came oh, up with. Wow. Adapted on, he adapted on my river. And he came up with his own mechanic for his character. Yeah. yeah he did a lot. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure half of them came from Ian. <laughs> Uh, well, he made the he he made the game. All right. Uh, speaking of Final Fantasy Sonics, which brings up the next question. Question five: How did you discover Final Fantasy Sonics in the first place? It, it's the first fan game I ever played. Um, whilst while I was younger, I used to watch loads of YouTubers such as like Luigi Kid and stuff. I discovered Final Fantasy Sonics through. Uh, um, I think I just found Final Fantasy Sonics while going on game job for the first time i found it i was like oh my god i like sonic i got it and um i uh play i played it and i found out mario was in it. it was literally just like it was a childhood dream like my three favorite things combined into one game and then right now i used to run into the other my siblings room because i was scared of the game and when the jumps happen i just walk back in and continue playing I think I actually beat the game. I actually, I think I actually beat all max mode for the first time there, which is surprising for me because I was stupid at the time. Um, it, ever since then, I, I never, I never really played Fast Two. I played it like a few times, and I was like, all right, all right. Fast Three is when the, I got into the series. Um, Fast Three inspired me to like make my own games again, and I remember I used to contact my friend. And we, I used to show him the demo of the game, and when the full game came out, I actually had to, I was like knocking on his door, and he came out, and he's like, "Oh my god, the full game's out!" I was like, "Yeah." Um, I took, uh, we we're, were over to my house, and I um played it with him, and that's the time I met Golden Sonic again, Golden Sonic for the first time, because I never played Fast too much, so I met Golden Sonic. I was like, "Okay, and that's cool." I don't know if um the cutscenes didn't even disturb me. I didn't even know what's going on in the cutscenes. I was like. Okay. Um, uh, around the time of Fast Four, I did, I played for that. I played, I watched Fast Four's trailer and actually played Fast Four a bit. I loved that game. It was one of my favorites. But by the time Fast Tell didn't even have a demo yet, he made the Discord server. I discovered Discord, joined it, and the first member I talked to was Sanic because he was the most active at the time. Ironically, now he's now he's the least active. He just dies all the time. <laughs> You know uh, about I, I you know, about about the max mode like I I did like in my past I used to play like uh Final Fantasy Sonic three and I still haven't got past the I never, oh, beat, that. Oh, I never beat that I never beat that until like last year whatever it is oh my god you know twenty one it, you know it's you know it it takes me a long time to beat it like it, it's so annoying. yeah it was pretty challenging so first four was too. the hardest one in my opinion. Yeah, but... Um, but yeah, I joined the Discord server, and um, I was on a gaming, and then I slowly became an old account, which is gone now, sadly. I can't access it. So this is an alt I made in 20, around 2016 time. Oh my god. And, well, uh, rip old account, but, um, oh well. Um, but this account is better. In my opinion, this I like this account better. Uh, yeah. I have more control. Uh, well, you know what? Like, since I ever like introduced like some teasers at 
like finest of Sonic's teasers on my channel and the fuse, man. Why, why, is, why is people coming to my channel seeing FNAF content? I mean, I mean, I don't. <laughs> that Nightmare like Salvage teaser. That Nightmare like Salvage teaser. That's like yeah, everywhere like that. when I look up yeah, FNAF. Okay, okay, seriously, people. Why do you people see that? Like, 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 it gets a lot of views. Like, how many, whatever it is. You know, uh, you know, maybe someday I'll probably go back to the Final <laughs> Sonic series and do that. <laughs> oh, oh, Lou Nightmare, I'll be waiting for you to visit. Huh, yeah, I guess. Alright, All right, next question. Alright, question six. How did you, how did you discover Jolly, the Jolly series? Oh, oh, that is actually an interesting question. I discovered it for taste. <laughs> I discovered it. I discovered it and I had to go at it. I beat the game. That was alright. Hard, but I beat it. I didn't really play Jolly 2, like, at all. But I did come back to it in the future. And then I discovered there's a Jolly server, and I joined that. Slowly I was trusted. There was admin tryouts. I decided to do the tryouts. I was promoted to an admin, and Ivan G said admin could beta test, and that's how I started beta testing this. Jolly 3. I played it with Jolly 3 Chapter 1, it was the best thing I've played at the time. And then I, I then uh, Chapter 2 was announced, Chapter 2's beta came out, I played that, I had so much. And then Jolly Bees' beta came out and I had a go at that, I love the game already, it, it's fun, I am enjoying myself. And it's not really a long story for the Jolly series, I was li I'm just an admin, I'm not even a beta tester, I'm just an admin. I just beta tested the game because I remember I remember allowed to. But it was fun to test. Oh, okay, wow. I gotta say, you were you're you're just a lucky. How do I put this? Yeah, you're it's just... not really lucky. I know how to. It wasn't really luck. I just knew. I just oh. knew how to freaking like sign up. For admin. Well. Or mod. I, got, I became a mod. I signed up for admin, but I became mod. So, but that's good. But man, you're just. Let's just say you're just one lucky fox. Yeah. I almost, I almost became admin, but I was like, addressed to pigsty, I think. But oh well, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, uh, question seven. Uh, the, hopefully, hopefully, this will remind you of something. Oh boy. What was the very first friend you ever made? Made? No, 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 I mean, what's your first friend you ever met? Friend? Oh, uh, yeah, the first friend. Yeah. Oh, uh, on Discord or real life? Oh, uh, Discord. Discord, Discord. Yeah. Hard one. That's a hard one. I don't even remember. I don't even remember the ser The only thing I remember from the old server is that it was a chat called Sneak Peaks. And you would post like a thing once a week. But um, I never. And I remember he never used to pay attention. He posted like two teasers and that was it. Um, oh boy. <laughs> if I had to say my first friend, I'd say it would be. Sanic. He sees the first person I talk. Oh, Sanic. Okay. You know, he I, I remember my first DM of Ian. My first DM of Ian was, "Hey, hey, um, what what time zone do you live in?" Because <laughs> I was curious. <laughs> That's my first DM. That was my first question to him. That was my first DM. He and. <laughs> Oh boy. Ignore me. <laughs> and now every time I DM him, usually he replies now. <laughs> okay. Well, I could literally DM him right now saying H and he would reply. Yeah, but, uh, but speaking of oh, one of your friends, uh, are we going to wonder why you're in this episode? I, I bet they're going to question yeah. that. But I don't care. Uh, next question. Alright. Question 8. Who is. Who is your favorite YouTuber out of all of them? Ooh, that's hard because I have a new because because my f oh I just can't I just can't. It's Yogscast Duncan. He's the one who got me into YouTube. I loved watching him. 
I use like an idol. Like people have like Markiplier or PewDiePie and Asakan. Um, people have like PewDiePie and Markiplier or Jetsetsukai, big idols. Mine's Dogs Cast. I loved that channel at the time. I'm kind of sad they're not as grow growing as fast as I hope. <laughs> Then again, they record. Then again, they record Minecraft content, but I don't care about that. I find that even to this day, I find that content hilarious. But it's, the only reason why I find it hilarious is because Duncan. Duncan's my favorite. He's oh. the one who got me interested. And even if I go onto my, if I go onto Technic Launcher and watch Tech It, Minecraft Tech It, my I can see my old skin on that, and my old skin was my it was Duncan's skin. But yeah. My favorite YouTuber, my favorite YouTuber in the past was Duncan. My current favorite YouTuber is the Next Genius because I like Bud. Bud's amazing. He deserves much more fame than he than he deserves. Uh, you know that is. You know, he deserves much more. You know that is not that is not bad for a favorite YouTuber to be honest. Yeah, he's an alright. He's an alright YouTuber. He's funny. Like literally, just a second ago, you tagged at everyone showing his Halloween costume, which was a bit of homework. <laughs> Okay, question nine. For added a character so fine, nice as Sonics, who is your most all time favorite character? I have two favorites. I can't, I can't, I can't like put them out onto one. Well, I, I have well, to pick both. Two, two, it's all right. I can allow that. Um, Dr. Golden and Phantom Man. All right. People thought. I bet. I bet you. I bet you think I was gonna say Tangle there for a second. No fucking Phantom Ian. I find Phantom Ian. I found Phantom Ian interesting. Like his origin even says, "Every everyone knows me. I know, know all of you." <laughs> oh my god. Like Phantom Ian's Phantom Ian's in general design and the way he acts is just interesting. Oh my. God. And I can't wait to show it to people. <laughs> I bet. Like, people are gonna love him. He's gonna be a good character. People oh are gonna God. love how he acts. Anyway, right. next question. That's a pretty easy question. Oh, yeah. Dr. Golden's just badass. Alright. <laughs> there might be two bonus next questions question. at the end. Hope you don't mind. Oh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's Alright. Question 10. Since we don't have any drum rolls, yeah, my studio's a low budget, okay? <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just be slamming my keyboard desk. I was like a little sliding thing here. And oh I my had my knee under it. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. All ask, right. Ask the question. All right. Oh boy. Oh boy. The fit. The tenth and final question is... <laughs> you know, I, I am so scared to ask this question, to be honest. Just ask it. <sighs> who, out of all of your friends on Discord, who is your most favorite friend on Discord? <laughs> I just spat out coke. Um, alright, um... It's not a hard question, honestly. Yeah, but three or four, I can allow that. It doesn't matter how many favorite Ian. points you have. Ian. Flau Ian. He's my favorite. He's my favorite friend on Discord. He's just, he's just my pure inspiration. And he's... He's nice. He's a good person. I, I really, like... I know people, some of my friends watching, well, technically I can have two. I have Ian and I also have Random, but mostly Ian, because Ian's the one I knew the most. Like, I talked to him. But, I didn't know you were so shocked, like, after I asked that question. Jesus. I was drinking a bit of Coke when he asked that. I just spat it out into my bin. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Alright, right. bonus question number one, which is question 11. Okay, for our channel. Alright. Oh. Uh, 
how did your character came to be? Like, what your character went through some changes. I just wanted to make him like me. As a fox. Yeah, I, he wore glasses originally, which he still kind of does. He and then I later on put, gave him context, but I decided to base it off something, some weird thing that happened in my life where they, I actually tried on context for the first time, but I put the wrong one in, so it looked like one of my eyes was green, and one of my eyes. So I put that onto my character for fun. Um, wow! I made him a fox because because I liked fox. I like foxes. I like foxes. After that. After wolves, I liked foxes, so I decided to make my favorite animal fox. I was gonna make Pyro green, but I made it red because he looked cooler. What? It was originally gonna be green. I almost made him green because green was my favorite. Is my favorite color. It still is. Um. Oh. Okay. Red you know... might be my favorite. Next, red might might be my next favorite color because my room's red and there's loads of red things in here. Um, all right, bonus question. Yeah, and then oh. I don't, I don't. I just gave him black eyes, which are still they're actually contact lenses, still, so black contact. All right, next question. All right, the the last bonus question. Bonus question number two, also known as question number twelve. All right, you know I've been saving this for last. <laughs> Have you got any future plans? You mean like game ideas and future plans? I am adding it to. I've considered a Pyromania 2 if Pyromania 1 comes out and it's successful. I've, and I've also even planned if Ian would actually give him. If and if Babs would agree. I planned to work with maybe work with Babs if with, with Ian's permission and with both their permissions to recreate that's with, with how it should have been like all paper and stuff. But I doubt that will come true. So don't get your anyone gets no one get your hopes up. It's just like me thinking inside of a shed with um Phil with. Pools. I don't know what do you put in the shed again. Wow. My, my dad used to, but my dad used to put like a freezer in the shed and stuff. So I don't even know what sheds are for. Wow. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? It's a soundboard on my phone, so I'm just gonna leave that alone. Okay. But that's all the questions I have for you. You know, th all right, that will result. Twelve questions asked. Wow. You know, I never asked this many questions in one episode. <laughs> especially one, especially one of the one of the members of Team Scientics, to be honest. You were taught. You interviewed Springtube the other day, all week. He's a TC member. I know. It's like. That he made this whole studio. Then wh why do you think I had the studio for? I don't know. Yeah, because teenage parties. <laughs> you know, maybe someday, maybe sometime I will get another studio upgraded. I've been thinking about it lately. Like, like say my character. Like, my new character, as you can see now, is like, everybody keeps wondering, I look like a gremlin. Like, what the fuck does that have, have to do with my character? Like, I, do I even look like a gremlin? No, you look like... Well, I'm, su well, I'm supposed to be a... Well, I'm, so, I'm supposed to be a bit... You look like the... You, you look like the offspring of Supersonic and Golden Freddy. Well, well, I'm a hybrid, so that would make me a bear hog. At, 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 at least it's more original than freaking Fred Bear. Well, at least no one's calling me that anymore. And, and plus, uh, yeah, cause you... yeah, yeah, so my character's now like a bear hog in different ways. And also, I'm missing my glasses, by the way. Don't. 
I have, no, I have noticed that. That's why I didn't add glasses to um, Nick Bear in um, Pyro. I have noticed Oh, cool. Um, someone's drawing the night room. That's nice. Yeah I'll, probably, yeah, I'll probably get my character redrawn or something. I would redraw it if I had time to, but no. I've got... Not... We... I can't... The game, my game, uh, Aftermath cannot have an animator, <laughs> so I don't really have time to draw. Huh, that's alright. Some, some days, there's always some days. Mm. Hey, but so, that's it for this episode. And, you know, I was very nervous first time when I finally got my chance to interview Rapid, and this was it. Mm. So, so that's it for this episode. As I said it twice, and I'll probably see you in the next episode of One Interview Night with Nick Bear. That's me. Mm. Bye, bye, guys. You gonna say bye? A. A. Okay. Done. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs>